Hello everyone, my name is Srimant Kumar. So uh, currently we are uh, running this session uh, about uh, Dynatrace. So uh, today I will show you how you can install one agent application on your Linux virtual machine. So I have created a virtual machine and I have already created the Dynatrace account. Let's do it and uh, see how we can just do it. So yeah, so uh, basically uh, if you are going into corporate sector, if you are, are running a kind of company or you are, are willing to install in centralized way, so you can uh, download the deployment agent and uh, you can just install to a different different virtual machines or a different different servers. But currently, uh, I'm just working as a testing purpose, so I'm just going to the virtual machine and uh, you can see. I will open the same website over here and I will just download that one isn't and install it manually okay so it is showing here let's move to the infrastructure once you come to the infrastructure tab you need to just come to the host once you click to host you will see some options for uh, deploy Dynatrace. Once we click to host, you have no monitor host because we are going to install now. So install Dynatrace one isn't. It is clicked here. And uh, yes, it is showing the page where we can just click to the next link and uh, see you how we can just do it. So. Let's click to the installation part to start installation. Now we will see a lot of options over here for installation. So Windows, Linux, AIX, and Solaris, Kubernetes, and all, all of options are available. But we are going to follow the Linux installation part. So I just click to the Linux. You will see a uh, pass token creation. So just create token and uh, this is the thing you can just copy and paste so it will uh, similarly install to the multiple machines but currently we are going to follow in single machine so let's copy this part first this is the first that downloader will install uh, you know uh, download so I just already opened the kind of <laughs> terminal over here so I'm going to as a root once you are is a root let's change my directory so it will easy to uh, you know find out taste one there's a lot of folders but yes we can go ahead over here let's paste the command wget means we are just downloading the file for installation so once it is download we will move forward for the next command to follow for the next purpose so uh, verify signature yeah so this is the kind of thing for verification part uh, so first let's download it and let's wait till okay it is taking time guys so uh, I'm just waiting I will cut this time out in between almost about to download let's uh, wait couple of seconds more yeah it's downloaded now let's go for the next command so we will verify okay yeah I'm in a browser now so this is the second uh, step verif uh, verify signature let's copy the command and uh, come to the terminal control shift v i think it's not copied okay control c okay i'm going back copying perfectly yeah, copying again paste it now and press enter okay so yeah it's a verified now verification successfully done let's move for the next step that is the installer one so okay so this is the thing uh, that is the bin standard trace and versions and the kind of a set on all things so I'm just copying it and uh, going here control save to V yeah it's going to install now unpacking the package this is my take of time Let's wait for a moment. What's going on?
it was uh, it will take around one minute to just install so yeah we're just waiting for the installation there is a no next step that we need to follow so only we need to just restart the process that you want to monitor that's it so yeah come to here Okay, so uh, one agent service is started now. Checking, yeah. So it's uh, almost done, and uh, the Dynatrace one agent is fully operational now. So let's come to the website and over here, so deployment status. And let's see what happens. Let me check the host name of the system. So it's uh, tricks.com. And uh, coming back to here. It is showing no recently connected host. Let's move to the main uh, local host page. So it will show you best view over here. So, okay. I'm just coming back to the infrastructure tab and uh, in host and uh, you can see this is connected now so I just need to come to in this tricks.com and uh, able to see a lot of things over here properties and tags so you can verify the tricks.com IP address and uh, standalone machine virtual box the data center is in New Delhi and uh, one agent uh, version is that 1.253 which is installed now so once you come back you will see the things over here as well uh, it is just checking right now so that's why let me refresh this page as well maybe we will see right now okay okay that's fine uh, we will see it after restarting the virtual machine so it will be uh, you know pre-initialize the process so it will be able to find out the all uh, CPU and all storage and uh, disk things disk related things okay so I think uh, uh, you can see the Apache and uh, PHP and uh, Apache Tomcat is, uh, installed applications on this machine and uh, I will show you in the next video how you can set the alert process on this uh, machine so you will able to identify if anything problems came to this machine how we will get the alert options thank you all